The Southern Ocean Observing System, or SUS, is an international initiative of the Scientific Committee on Oceanic Research, SCORE, and the Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research, SCAR. SUS has a mission to facilitate the sustained collection and delivery of essential observations of the Southern Ocean to all stakeholders. And we're doing this through design, advocacy, and implementation of cost-effective observing and data delivery systems. SUS has an international project office, which is hosted by a partnership agreement between the University of Tasmania's Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies, the Tasmanian State Government, and CSIRO. Additionally, we have international sponsorship from Antarctica New Zealand, the Swedish Polar Research Secretariat, Turbitax Polar Institute in Turkey, and the University of Cape Town's Marine Biogeochemistry Lab. I'd just like to take a moment to thank all of our partners and sponsors for their ongoing support of SUS and the SUS International Project Office. SUS has had a busy 12 months. Most importantly, we celebrated our 10-year anniversary with the SUS International Project Office being initiated in August 2011. While sadly we couldn't do this celebration in person, we held an online series of presentations to celebrate 10 years of SUS, which is available via our SUS YouTube channel. We also produced five publications, four reports, and developed and released a new SUS data policy. We released 18 newsletters to the community and uploaded eight new video presentations to our SUS YouTube channel. And this includes webinars from two of our working groups, which have held webinar series over the last few years. Despite the limitations on travel with COVID, SUSE has successfully held 34 online meetings and workshops. We've also had strong representation at over 30 other international meetings, conferences and workshops, including COP26 and the UN Ocean Conference. And lastly, SUSE endorses projects and over the last 12 months, we've endorsed seven projects for the community. But most importantly, our science and implementation plan to take us through to 2025 was approved after an international review process coordinated by SCAR and SCORE. Within this science plan, the community identified that there are five key science themes to prioritise SUSE's activities for the next five years. These are all around understanding and quantifying the state and the variability of the Southern Ocean, specifically around the cryosphere, circulation, carbon and biogeochemistry, ecosystems and biodiversity, and Southern Ocean sea ice atmospheric fluxes. It was also recognised that there are a number of foundational capabilities that underpin these science themes. And these are observing system design, key variables and modelling, methods and standards, including best practice documentation, and core to SUS, data management and delivery, and ensuring that this data is as findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable or fair as possible. Additionally, the community recognised that there are a number of key challenges for each science theme that will be specific priorities for the SUS community over both the short term, less than five years, to the long term, five to ten year period. I've provided an example here of one challenge per theme, but if you're interested in seeing the full science and implementation plan and all of the key challenges, please visit the SUS website. To meet this plan, SUS has a number of working groups. This includes a data management subcommittee, which focuses and manages all of SUSE's data activities, regional working groups, which work to enhance regional coordination of the observing system within the Southern Ocean, capability working groups and task teams, which enhance 
capabilities where we've currently got gaps in the observing system. And this includes a new task team launched in late 2021 on Polar Technologies. We have an equity, diversity and inclusion group looking at this not only within SUS, but within the Southern Ocean community as a whole to ensure that it's as welcoming as possible to all people. And lastly, we have a number of partnerships and collaborations with other um, relevant programs where SUS is making significant contributions. These include the UN Ocean Decade Southern Ocean Task Force, which is coordinating the Southern Ocean contribution to the UN Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development, the Marine Ecosystem Assessment of the Southern Ocean, or MESO, a joint working group between SUS, the SCAR Data Committee, and the Arctic Data Committee on Enhancing Polar Data Discovery, or POLDA, and being a key partner in the CLIC, CLIVAR, SCAR, Southern Ocean Regional Panel, or SORP. SUS also has two key data products. SUSMAP, providing observational data, and Due South, providing logistical data. Both of these products have had new interfaces launched in 2022. SUSMAP had a new interface launched only a few weeks ago in August. SUSMAP is hosted and maintained for SUS by the European Marine Observing Data Network, or EMODNET. And on an interactive map of um, the Southern Ocean, SUSMAP provides data visibility for aggregated, standardised circumpolar data sets. Within this new interface, you can explore the data on a various different background layers to provide context for the data, and then investigate the different data types or the platforms that it's collected on, as shown by the top matrix on the top right, depending on your area of interest. So for example, here I've selected temperature data across all platform types. Where possible, SUSMAP also provides either a link or a bulk download um, capacity to be able to access this data that's being presented. SUSE's other key product, the database of upcoming expeditions to the Southern Ocean or due south is hosted and maintained by the European Polar Board. Within Polardex, you can now find upcoming expedition or planned route information to not only the Southern Ocean, which is due south, but also the Arctic. And additionally, there's information on the field facilities, planes and vessels in behind these upcoming expeditions or planned routes. So please explore Polidex for not just due south in Polidex, but the larger Polar Assets database to see upcoming information on logistics in both the Southern Ocean and the Arctic. Lastly, please save the date. SUS is holding our inaugural SUS Symposium in August 2023 in Hobart, Australia. And this symposium is all going to be centred around the theme, the Southern Ocean in a Changing World. Please have a look at our website on the SUS Symposium and check out our call for sessions that's currently open till the end of October. Thank you. And if you want to know more about SUS or have any questions, please contact us via the SUS website or info at SUS.aq.